Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day on the road with Trim, Vegan, and Frodo. I am, as you can see, in another rental car. <laughs> Again, I'm traveling for work. Apologies for this crazy little buzzy noise behind me. We're here back in Darwin <laughs> since it's the place to be in the early half of this year. I'll go in so maybe it's a bit quieter here but the lighting's not oh this is okay. So basically we're here. I float in here late Friday night. It is basically 1am now. I'm gonna go check into the hotel and I did that because I wanted to oh no <laughs> spend a couple of days exploring the national parks and sharing that with you. So that is what I'm doing here. All of next week I'll be working so it won't be as much crazy tripping around by the next two days i'm all yours and we're gonna go and explore as much as we can around darwin in the national parks check out all the gorges and crocodiles jumping and all kinds of exciting fun things fun fact for you if you're arriving into darwin in fact darwin airport is open until 2 a.m. so if you're arriving to Darwin pretty late you can still get those taxis outside the rental car places are open which was a surprise to me because I'm used to rental car places shutting really early there is all these flies there's so many people here I arrived into Darwin just after midnight and there are domestic flights there's an international flight to bali to indonesia so there's a lot of flights a lot of people around and the last flight that comes out of Devon airport is around 2 a.m plus minus and that is another domestic flight and i suppose they do it because it takes like at least five hours to fly places and that was like melbourne and sydney which would be maybe even seven six or set like longer because it's five four and a half i guess to come this way from brisbane so maybe it's four to fly to brisbane and there'll be you know a few hours longer to fly to the other big cities in australia so basically part of the story if you arrive late and you need a rental car don't stress about it you'll be able to get one because i was concerned but they're open and they're giving them out now i need to go to the hotel get a good night's sleep check in get a good night's sleep and go exploring in the morning so i'll see you in a bit in the hotel and i am back at the oaks just because i knew where it was it worked fine i liked it last time let's check out the room we have today This is the room for this trip. Well, I mean, this time. <sighs> Still pretty cool. No balcony this time. But still, sweet, sweet ocean view. Although you can't see it because it's dark. But I'll show you in the morning. This is the remaining remainder of the room. The room is pretty similar to last time. There's like a little mini fridge in here. See? <laughs> I even knew that. And I'm pretty sure the bathroom is the same thing. So, um, glass bathroom thing. I love, I really love big tile in the bathroom. So it's <laughs> right, cool kids, your sleepy tight vegan is ready to have a shower and jam in a bed and put things on charge before an exciting and epic day of exploring tomorrow. Good morning, wonderful people, and welcome to another morning with Trump Vegan Frodo. The breeze outside is spectacular. 
The weather feels amazing and I'm so excited to be going to Litchwell National Park with you guys. See you on the road. And while I'm waiting for the lift off my 23rd floor, I want to give you a little tip. I'm staying at the place at the hotel, second time already, called My Oaks here in Darwin, but I've stayed with My Oaks and a few other places also. I actually find these, this hotel chain pretty good and pretty, you know, very nice, very comfortable and I have enjoyed my stays here. But a little tip for you is that you can go online and usually they have, they have My Oaks membership thing that you can sign up for for free and then you get... A, points and a bunch of benefits and the minimum you get 10% discount. So if you go online and you just use the code MYOAKS, M-Y-O-A-K-S, or you can look it up online and you can just use it when you're booking. You'll get, if you're booking a standard room, you get 10% discount or if you're booking a more like a room with a balcony and such, you get 20% discount. And obviously the specials change time to time, but definitely if you are to stay here, make use of that offer. Of course, no road trip would be sufficient <laughs> without some epic vegan food. But being in Northern Territory, or just like any other really road trip I have ever done, is I bought a whole bunch of waters. I have eight here. Look, if you're in Northern Territory, buy yourself a big case like that. Seriously, they're 80 cents each. And you that will ensure that you're always going to have water wherever you are. There are places to buy water while you're driving through little towns you're stopping in. But this is just going to make sure that you have this in your car all the time. And it's much cheaper right buying it in bulk in Darwin and then I got myself a bunch of fruit I got strawberries here I've got some like bananas mandarins and then I also got cucumber tomato hummus got some crackers and I also got a coconut yogurt and I got one of these little kombuchas that were three dollars and I am all set to go let's get the show on the road Another helpful tip for you, my darlings, make sure you take a photo of your speedometer when you get your car, because most rental cars here, they give you 100 kilometers per day that you're allowed to drive, and all of the national parks, they're located over 100k a day. So to make sure that you, and every extra k, you get charged from 25 cents to 39 cents per kilometer. So you want to be pretty clear <laughs> where you started, what you've used up, and because at the end, they're gonna be charging you a little bit extra, and they obviously do it to make more money, but, yeah just be aware of mostly like if you're renting car for three days you'll have 300 k's allowance and the remaining will come out as extras out of your pocket so be wary of that one basically you're driving from Darwin down here there's a 6k gravel just here and you keep going down around visiting all these really cool places so my darlings that 6k track which was a nonsense gravel on a teeny tiny little turtle Yaris rental car is not ideal you preferably would have a 4x4 be a bit more comfortable and secure but I guess I am lucky that it's dry so maybe it's like not as slippery and stuff there's a little car there 
that I'm driving right now. But I have a map. We'll look at this map later. Oops. When we're in the um, when we're in the hotel or cafe or somewhere, when we're sitting down, we can talk through it. But right now, I'm gonna go to a couple of places. There's a Litchfield Cafe just there that I've been to, and I got the map from. But there are a few cafes around. There's a few water places, and just you know, if you don't have your own stuff or you're riding, for example, and not carrying a certain amount of stuff, that's also an opportunity but let's go basically what lady also told me that since I'm not driving a 4x4 I need to be mindful of the animals in the early mornings or the late afternoons basically so you'd want to be the sunset right now around here is about 6 30 p.m which is you know still fairly reasonable amount of daylight if all you're doing is driving around and tripping around and going for little hikes but at the same time you do want to be sort of getting onto the main road out by 4 5 p.m yep and to be really safe to be honest and get places and then, i mean also you can get to darwin for amazing sunset too if that's something you want to do. there's so many amazing beautiful spots in darwin to do sunset all right Let's get going. The less left of the way, the, the rest of the way is all bitumen, which is great in this little loop. So it's good to be aware of that little 6K gravel pit, but it's also good that it's only 6K and not that much longer for someone who's not on a full wheel. I love driving full wheels, man, especially in conditions like that. Anyway, let's get going. As you can see, you get free Wi Fi here. You have a little table of yeah, when yeah, war yeah. is open. It's going to close all the same places. Mm -hmm. There's a little mat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So see you can swim here. You can't like do rock climbing onto the pools, but there's lookout, picnic, some camping, and some beach walking. There you go. A little bit of a look. You hear there's Utterance Cafe. Phone. And how cool is that? You get free Wi Fi here. Low crocodile risk. Open for swimming. There's crocodile safety signs everywhere through while you're driving. So basically, you're only supposed to swim in the designated areas to avoid the crocodiles. But check this out. There you go. The whole walk around loop is 1.7k, so pretty quick. A bunch of stairs to climb up to get to the top of those holes. But I want to fly the drone. And I don't want too many people around for that exciting <laughs> escapade. I think this looks like a perfect place. Nothing but skies above. Do a quick loop. And we'll keep on going.
getting the best footage that you will get with a drone of this, these waterfalls is if you do from here, from the bottom, and you bring it up. But there's so many people here, and I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> so I did a little bit of flying from the very top. We walked all the way up there, and I did some flying there. And now I'm just going to show you a little bit from the bottom here. But this place is, these are really cool. These are very beautiful.